so today we will check how to install cocoa ports into the iphone application and how we can utilize the frameworks using cocoa ports so uh, let's see first what is cocoa ports so it's a dependency manager for uh, any projects we are creating for iphone application either using swift or objective c so whatever frameworks we are uh, we were using in a past uh, using the frameworks and sdk files uh, uh, that we can easily manage into the application by just adding the dependency and just a single command so we can is it's very easy to use now so we can go through the cocoa ports and we can also manage the projects very easily where we are use, uh, more using third party SDKs and libraries so let's see the steps so first of all we have to uh, install the cocoa ports if we are not using the co cocoa ports and you are doing it first time then we have to install the cocoa ports into the system after installation is done what we have to do is uh, let's check any of the simple uh, framework uh, for which uh, cocoa ports uh, pod file is available so we can make a sample application and we can see how it's working so as a sample we are picking the firebase uh, as we can see firebase has already provided us pod file so that pod file we can install into the sample application and we can see how it can be installed and how it can be used so let's create a sample project first create new project sample app save to desktop so project is installed right now there is nothing into the project so uh, first of all what we have to do is let's uh, install any pod file and see how it's changing the project structure so whenever we are going to install any pod files into the project we have to make sure project should be closed first so let's forcefully close the project and now uh, for opening the uh, installing the pod file uh, let's open the terminal first So now we are into the project folder and uh, currently if you can see in the project folder there, there is nothing re regarding the pod file because we just created the project so there is nothing so whenever we are you start using the pod files initially first for the first time what we need to do into the project is just initialize the pod file so it will create us empty pod for us so let's do that and we are into the project and we are doing a pod initialization So once it's initialized, we can see here empty PoD file is created now and it's ready for use now. So what we can do is whatever dependency we need to add, we can add it here and we can simply save and close. So after that we can start the installation process. So let's go to the Firebase and copy that PoD file. So this step is done now. For the step 2, we are adding the PoD file now. paste here save and close now the next step is we'll have to we have added the dependency now we need to install it so right now dependency is added but there is no framework here we can see so how it will be installed so for that simply we need to write a pod install here on the same path so now it will start uh, downloading and installing all the required frameworks which are covered into the dependency and also we can now see into the project structure there are lots of files created pod file is already uh, there uh, because we have initialized the uh, initially so it's already there pod file lock is a security folder uh, so it won't be accessible uh, unless uh, due to some of the en encryption features we are using the lock file it's not an actually exactly used for the PoD files. It's just a security purpose. We are uh, it's already created. 
in pod's files uh, we can see uh, whatever dependency we have added relevant frameworks automatically get downloaded and installed also into the pods folder after that workspace is created for that project initially there was a xcode project only but now after installing the cocoa ports uh, we can see there is a workspace created so whenever we are uh, using the pod files into the application cocoa ports we will we'll have to make sure uh, we'll have to open the project into the workspace setup only so let's open the workspace so if you open the application it's almost the same just the difference is apart from the project one pod structure is also created where we can see pod file is managed where we can add more and more dependencies for the any frameworks we are using and that frameworks will get downloaded and will be there automatically as you can see here all the frameworks are already available here uh, which are coming into the dependency so now uh, that are ready to use into the application now so that's how we can install the cocoa upwards into the application and that's how we can utilize the uh, cocoa upwards thank you guys